Right, in this episode, um, we're going to touch a little bit on dam testing because uh, we, uh, me and Shane and Mark did one the other week, but Lee's got something different to offer. So, go on, what are you saying? Okay, but the new construction's advanced now, not everything in the walls is wood. So there are now different dam test procedures for different types of vans. Um, so we're just basically just going to cover different types of vans um, and what the new procedures are for dam testing. Because what you don't want to do is turn up at someone's Bailey Alutec and go and stick your prongs of your dam meter into a fiberglass wall and cause damage to it. Right, what type of van do you want? Uh, what have you got? Something like a Swift or a Bailey. How about a new Swift? New Swift would be lovely. So let's go and find a new Swift. Have you got the keys? Yeah. So we've got a Swift Edge 476 that we've just had in. And lead the way then, Lee. Right, we're in the Swift Edge. First impressions of the motorhome, Lee? Nice van. They are a nice van, these. For, uh... So you've got your drop down bed at the top. And then obviously we can make a double bed up here. And then you've got your two singles. Will that make into a double at the back? Wait. Yes. Yeah, that it's a nice spacious man this is. What's the washroom like? Plenty of seat belts. Wet room, but the thing is you're always gonna get a combined shower in this type of van because space is gonna be the issue because of making yeah. use of six berths, isn't it? Yeah, that that's the downside to a six berth a lot of the time is you've got the space inside, but when it comes to shower rooms and things like that you tend to have to compromise yeah. which if you've got six of you wanting to use the shower could be a bit of an issue but anyway we're not here for designs and layouts um tell us all about the dump checks. right so as a member of the approved workshop scheme now every year we get an updated um testing matrix sent to us or uploaded onto the approved workshop site um, which tells us all the supporting manufacturers of the approved workshop scheme what their damp testing requirements are for that van for that year right so here we're in um, 2020 uh, Swift Edge so I could literally just get up my damp testing matrix scroll through till I get to Swift motorhomes Swift motorhomes there you go Swift Edge um, only produced in 2020 so there you go there and then you'll have it tells you whether you need to do the sides roof front and rear or just the floor just that's the camera so I can now you probably won't be able to see that properly but it gives you an idea there so for this specific model because of the construction of it these are wooden walls Right. And what we don't want to do is go round, I mean I've, I've got a pinless meter, AWS requirement is that I use my um, con uh, pinless meter, yeah. if then there is an issue I have to do an invasive test. Just a quickie there Lee, how many times have you been around a van where people, and you've seen where people have shoved the pins in? I think it's disrespectful. Lots, lots yeah, and, and the thing is people will come and they will get the pins and they will shove them, you know, you can see how long the pins are on there and they will literally shove them virtually all the way in and it just leaves such a mess on the walls yeah. and, and unfortunately I've seen that done by other engineers, other dealers as well. Yeah. Um, I think, so, let's just go off the, off the record here, something like, I think a lot of dealers do do that, well not a lot of dealers, some dealers do that to try and find some type of damp, don't they? Yes, and, and, that's and wrong. The, big, the biggest one is, and I, I'll, I can do this here now, I mean this van actually requires only a test of the floor, so I'd do a non-invasive test of the floor. Why is that? Because there's only wood on the top layer of floor. Right, okay. The rest of it, there's no wood in it. Right, okay. So anything that gets in, is not going to show up as a damp reading in the wall. I mean, you can use this and you may get something show up yeah. if, it, if it's particularly bad. Yeah. But the requirements by Swift are that you only need to test the floor and then you do a visual inspection of all the roof seals and check around, check in all the cupboards, make sure you can't see any evidence of any water running down the walls, water trails and things like that. Right. That's the same on a Bailey because the Alutec Got this you. is the same. It's, yeah. the, it's the same sort of system. So the Bailey and the Swift new ones now is basically the floor. The, the, Alu, the Alutech yeah. has been for some time. Yeah. Now, dependent on what Swift model it is, some of the higher end stuff like the um, Contiki or the um, the Swift Elegance caravans, 
there is no wood even on the top layer of floor it is just literally a visual inspection right. there is no damp test required for that um, but where you're saying about people checking around windows and I'll just show you now quickly this is a common thing for people to do especially if you're looking to sell your van and you're quite confident that it's dry and you'll get people come along and you may be selling to not Jason but someone who does the same thing as you and they're gonna come along and they're gonna go like that oh look at that you've got massive lot of damp there what they've done see how I've just caught the bottom of the rubber yeah you caught the rubber there haven't you yeah they're not even testing the wall that that is just literally um, a scan basically yeah. which a lot of people do um you you know better yourself it's well anyway, let's just cut that there firstly it wouldn't be a, what a lot of people do it's what yeah it's what some, pe it's some people will do it some people who aren't knowledgeable to use a damp meter properly might come to have a look at your van and say oh i'm going to test around the windows catch the window rubbers and That's they might point. be com doing it completely innocently yeah. that they think oh it is damp yeah it's just that they don't know how to use the damp tester properly yeah. what you should be doing if you are testing walls is lifting up the rubber and testing at this point here along here so that when you put that rubber down it's it's covered up you don't see the holes let's face it though if there is down there once you lift that rub up you're gonna see it anyway. yes you'd see it anyway yeah. yeah you'd see the black and the staining on yeah. it yeah and the, a lot the, of it's visual as well really yeah the common misconception with people that i hear all the time is can't smell damp if you can smell damp in your caravan it's at a point where you're in trouble you're in trouble <laughs> yeah because then if you're smelling it you're smelling the rot and all that sort of thing and by that time it's been there for some time and it's doing damage now yeah so obviously not everyone's got access to that damp testing matrix that I have it only yeah. be people like myself who are a proof workshop um, but if you're not gonna get um, someone to do a pre-purchase inspection I've had three calls this week to do pre-purchase inspections I just haven't got time to do them I'm too busy with with service work but what I have done is asked them what type of van it is yeah and I've said okay don't check the, f the walls for that because you don't need to it's only check the floor yeah you know go around and do this go around and do that and I've given a, a brief description of what they should be looking for and I don't mind doing that because hopefully if they were going to use me for a pre-purchase inspection they're probably going to come back to me and ask me to service it so I don't mind spending a, a few minutes with them trying to explain what they need to do that's where that's where people miss out because at the end of the day just doing something like that people remember that yeah. So then when they do go, ah, let's give Lee a ring, he helped us out before, I know he was busy, let's see if he can do it. Yeah. And it does come back and back, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Don't yeah. get me wrong, I can't spend all day on, on the phone to people saying, oh yeah, you want to check this, you want to check that, because yeah. I've still got to do all my other jobs. But That's why I can never get hold of you. That's why you can never get hold of me. No, I know it's you and I just go like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's... If you speak to someone who's an approved workshop member, yeah. who's your local engineer, um, and say, look, you know, I'm going to have a look at a van. This is what it is. I want to. I've got a damp meter. Yeah. Where do I test on it? They'll give you a rough idea. If yeah. they've got, if they've got any sense, they'll give you a, an idea of what you want to do. Because, yeah. like I said, you're you're a potential customer for the future. Yeah. And if so, they don't want to, then yeah, that's it. Isn't it? Yeah. Ring Jason. Oh, cheers. So what we're going to do? Right, so damp test on this is literally just the whole floor area. Okay. So you would literally take all your seat cushions up, you'd be in all these cupboards. Well, shall uh, we just do one area um, and just give people an idea what we're going to do? Yeah. Where do you want to do this down here? This got a garage. I don't know, I've only just brought it. Let's have a look if it's got a garage, because that's a real common area. Right, so we're at the back of the van, as you can see. I'll just show you the garage. Big garage area there. Okay. Now, obviously, you've got to check all around the edges. If you've got a leak on one of these vans, it's going to come down between the, the fit into the wall. It's going to come out as close to the wall as possible. So, with a non-contact, sorry, a pinless meter, you go along and check as close to the wall as possible. Every few inches, just checking around. 
and go all the way around, all the way around the van. So you're just meticulously really just going all the way around yeah. the van, aren't you? When you've got a, a van of this construction, it's really important to go around and not every couple of feet you want to be going as close as possible. One thing you've got to be very careful with with a pinless meter is if there's metal brackets in the floor yeah. or things like that. What about wiring? Can, wiring, yeah, you yeah. can get a false reading from it. At that point, you would then have to use your pin your meter pins. and yeah. do an invasive test. So you this one I just swap it over from onto the other or I use the extension part and then just press it in and there I know that yeah it was just a bracket in the floor so so you go all the way around but then obviously because this is a, a floor test only you need to get on top and you need to have a look that the tape across the joints is good and not bubbling. So you'd be going up and looking at the roof yeah, then? Yeah, yeah, going round and checking where all the mastic joints are on the roof. You need to go around there and you need to have a look that they're all intact, that there's no gaping holes in it and things like that. Um, that's the big one for, for a van that's got floor tests. When you go on to the lunar type of vans, uh, lunar caravans, yeah. um, They've got uh, a thing in the wall so that when it when it leaks, it stains blue. Yeah. Those have got like a polystyrene honeycomb effect wallboard. So again, it's not wood. So all you do for those is a test of the floor, but then you go around the van and you check in all the cupboards, underneath the sink, everywhere like that. Got you. For any staining on the walls, on the ceiling and things like that. Because um, again, it's only plastic those walls are so if you start putting your prong there, it's literally going to push straight in with very very minimal effort and if you turn up at someone's house or again if you turn up to a dealer's and you go take your own damp meter and push it in the wall straight away they're going to say you've damaged my van yeah so you know you want to be sure of what you're testing for before you start sticking a damp meter in other people's vans that's the big issue that's the big message in it so there you go. Um, there is guidelines now for different testing of different vans. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, just leave it to the professionals. Yeah. If you're a member of the Caravan Club, you can use the Caravan Club pre-purchase inspection um, scheme and just get someone out from that to, to do it. There you go.